what's up it's your girl Devin K welcome back to my channel so you guys for today's video I'm just gonna do a little makeup look um I'm gonna show you guys how I would do my makeup if like I was only doing eyeliner so it's like I don't know I guess an eyeliner based makeup look so I hope you guys enjoy this video and again thank you for joining me for another video so let's get into this makeup okay so of course any makeup look you need primer going in with my icy soul primer and just applying that all over my face next my absolutely favorite part eyebrows you guys already know by now i'm applying my brown eyebrow mascara and just brushing it through making sure everything's looking awesome all right so now it is time to line these little babies up going in with my nyx concealer and nude beige and we're just gonna line up under the eyebrows i don't know why but when i do my makeup i don't like to line the top of them I don't know some most people do i just i don't know i just don't i just don't care for it y'all i'm weird like that but hey whatever now we're gonna apply a little color to our brow bone we're gonna go in with our Too faced in champagne and we're just gonna apply that to each brow bone up under there give me a little color and to hide that little blood vessel under my eye that i don't like okay you guys so now i'm doing my contour to my face and i still have yet to get a contour kit i don't know i'm just being super picky i haven't found any that like i like so i just use this brown powder that i have and i use that to contour my face so i'm just gonna go in i'm gonna get my jawline okay so both jaw lines and then we're gonna do our cheekbones and then of course my nose just to make it look a little thinner and not as wide and then of course my forehead i like to cast a little shadow around my hairline as well all right y'all so this is what i look like before i blend it out and apply my foundation this is just what i highlight on my face for my contour and then i just have this like b brush that i got from the dollar store and i just use that to blend my contour in so like you're not seeing harsh lines on my face after i put on my foundation so you guys just blend 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 okay so now i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna apply some concealer to like the areas that are my problem areas and stuff so of course the bridge of my nose and i'm using nyx soft beige this is a different shade than what i use on my eyebrows i just like this shade because it's a little lighter so i feel like it really um brightens my face in the areas i want to bright it brighten it and then it makes the shadow stand out more i'm just going in with a flat concealer brush i damped it and just going in and blending in my concealer okay so now that i have contoured my face and applied some concealer i'm gonna set some setting powder on my face and let that sit for a minute and then i will just go in with a little brush and wipe it off and then blend in some stuff on my little nose and you guys this is just me i'm just doing some more blending getting everything nicely evened out and then setting the side of my nose to give it more definition and any other areas on my face as well and then like i said applying that concealer to my little acne scars and then we're gonna go in and wipe off that setting powder after we let it sit for 60 seconds 
Alright you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. This is my Too Faced Born This Way Natural Finish Foundation. And I will be applying this with my blender sponge. And what I did was I got it a little damp. And the reason why I get it damp is because number one, it thins it out if it's a little too thick. And number two, it makes it easier to spread. And it just makes it look a lot more smoother. So I'm just going to go ahead and really blend this in all over my face here. And then I'm just getting the rest of my face here. Nothing too exciting going on, guys. Just blending, blending, blending. Um, one cool thing about this foundation is that it is buildable coverage. So, like, if you feel like you need more, you can build on it, which is really, really cool. And it's also, like, that natural finish. So, you're not going to look all cakey and, I don't know, like, layered up and crazy looking. <laughs> all right you guys so now that we've applied our foundation it's time to go in with some setting powder so i'm going to be using two different setting powders for this look i'm going to use my halo glow in medium setting powder and then i'm also going to going to use my well people translucent setting powder um i use two different ones because some areas of my face i need to create shadow on and some areas of my face i need to light in again after applying my concealer so that's why i have two different setting powders that i use Okay, you guys, so now it's a time to get some little glow going on. So I'm going to apply to my cheekbones Avon bronzing powder. The shade that I'm using is light bronze, and I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones with that, get them to pop out a little more because, oh my God, you guys, I love my cheekbones so much. And then I'm going to add some more color with some L'Oreal blush on my little chubby cheeks in the shade azalea i like to apply some to my brow bone my forehead and my chin as well okay you guys so now it is time for like the main star so it's time to apply our liquid eyeliner um i don't know about you guys but i definitely prefer liquid eyeliner over pencil it's just so much easier to apply and to me it just looks so much cleaner um so what i'm using here is the nyx epic wear waterproof eye and body liquid eyeliner this is literally the best eyeliner out there i swear by this it's definitely my favorite one so if anybody's looking for a really good like waterproof eyeliner it's like waterproof it's sweat proof i wear it to the gym also it does not come off um the only thing that i don't like is that when you are ready to wash it off you have to use like something that's oil based like an oil based makeup remover or makeup wipe or something um to get it off because regular soap and water will not remove it um but it is definitely really really good i got it from walmart it was ten dollars i also did a video review that goes more depth on it if you guys are interested um but yeah this is just how i apply my eyeliner and get my winged eye look and I know when a lot of people do their eyeliner, they like to start and like do the wing first. But me, it's just a lot easier for me to start in the corner of my eye because depending on how I feel, I may want to make it like very, very extreme eyeliner or I may want to make it like thin or I may want to do like a short little wing. I just never know until like I'm there applying it what I want it to look like. So... Thank you. 
Okay, you guys, so I actually want my eyeliner to be more dramatic and like thicker. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna like make it thicker because this was like a makeup look where you don't have to wear eyeshadow. So like I was gonna go extra on the eyeliner. But before I do that. Okay, you guys, so this is just me going in and making my eyeliner a little thicker. I felt like it was a little thin around like the top part on the corner. So I'm just going in and thickening that part up and then i'll probably like make my wing a little longer and just make sure it looks even on both sides all right and now that i'm done with eyeliner i'm gonna go ahead and apply a few more coats of mascara And you guys should know by now, I always have to have some kind of shimmer going on, whether it's gold or silver. So I'm going in and just applying some silver little shimmer to my forehead and nose and chin. All right, you guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to apply some black eyeliner around my lips. I hope it comes out cute. I've only used brown liner on my lips, so hopefully I don't look crazy. All right, now I'm just going in there and applying some lipstick, and then I'm just going to try to smooth it all together by smacking my lips. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I was putting on my little shimmer, I forgot to put some on my cheekbones. So I'm just going in and adding a little shimmer to my cheekbones. And then we're going in with our Rose Beauty Mavian Setting Spray and applying that. Okay, you guys, so I came in better light so I could show you the finished makeup look, but this is literally what it looks like. Um, I don't know. I really wanted to do like super, super dramatic eyeliner. Like y'all know how like Nicki Minaj, she be doing her eyeliner, like her eyes be, oh my God. But I just went with this. So this is the finished look. I'm definitely, definitely getting so much better at my contour, you guys, because when I first started, you could totally still see it. So I will list all the makeup products that I use for this makeup look in the description below. But again, you guys, this was just like a cute little makeup look if you don't like to wear eyeshadow. Like it's so hot. I think it's like 100 degrees, you guys, today. And I got ants I gotta go run. And I'm like, if I wear some eyeshadow, I'm literally going to sweat it off. So again guys hope you enjoyed this video thank you for joining me for another video and bye till next time from your girl dedicate the model bye guys